Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a little skincare chat. Today I wanted to give you guys all of my top 10, not top 10, just top recommendations for winter skincare. For those of you who are new here, you may not know that I, Alana Davidson, have the most dry and flaky and tight skin. And I also live in Canada, so that doesn't help my situation at all. I used to live in Calgary, I went to university there and it would be like minus 30 for weeks and months on end. That's a little bit dramatic, but you get my point. I have battled with dry and very sensitive skin for my entire life, and I feel as though I have a good collection of recommendations for you guys in terms of skincare. A lot of you have been messaging me and asking me for my winter skincare recommendations over the last few weeks, so that is what I wanted to give for you guys here today. Now, I'm not gonna be doing an application video. There's a lot of products to go through, so I kinda just wanted to ramble out my recommendations. I'm also going to have a big list in the description box of some other products that I don't necessarily have at the moment but you know some alternative products for you guys that I would also recommend. So today I'm going to be talking about all of my skincare recommendations for those of you suffering with dry skin. Now let us get into it. Let's start with masks. I have two hydrating masks that I wanted to discuss with you guys because they are my tried and true, my go-to. This one in particular I have purchased over and over and over again over the years and these are the two masks that I could recommend to you guys if you just want a quick fix for your dry skin. First being the Fresh Rose Face Mask. It looks like this. It literally has just clumps of rose petals in there. This one is so beautifully hydrating. I love the packaging. I love Fresh so much, dear Fresh. I love you. Their masks have never done me wrong or led me astray. If you're wanting just a quick little 10 minute mask to boost the hydration, make your skin feel really nice. It has a very strong cucumber cooling sensation in this mask, even though it's called rose. I get cucumber from it. I don't know what to say. Uh, it just feels amazing. If you want a quick fix, this is my go-to mask. When I'm feeling extra, extra dehydrated, when my skin, like maybe I'm having a really bad breakout, and I just want a mask to make my skin feel amazing all around, this one is my go-to. Again, this is a product I've talked about for years. This is the Pharmacy Honey Potion. This will fix your hydration needs instantly. It has a warming sensation, so if you feel a little bit of like a tingly warmth, don't be scared. That is what it's supposed to do. I love the packaging of this pharmacy. It has such gorgeous packaging, and it actually is just like a big jar of honey, but when you rub it into your skin, it actually turns white. Uh, so I always just apply this, rub it into my skin until it turns to that white color, let it sit on for about 20 minutes, and then I rinse it off. I usually take a washcloth and actually put warm water on it, and that's how I remove this one, and it just leaves my skin feeling so warm and hydrated and just all over glowy and a lot more fresh. So those are the two masks that I would recommend for you for your winter dry skin fix. Now I want to talk about some face mists because face mists, I don't know if they're necessarily gimmicky products, but all I know is that when I spray a face mist onto my face, I get an instant boost of hydration. I get a nice wake up. If I'm feeling tired in the afternoon, I just want to spritz my face with some hydration and waking up feelings. I don't know. I'm a big face mist believer and user. I always keep a travel size one in my bag wherever I go and that is the Caudalie Grape Water, which I'm currently out of and I need to repurchase. I think this for a VIB sale is still going on. I need to I need to get that. So Caudalie Grape Water, the big white bottle, they also have the travel size. That is my go-to favorite one. I'm actually so disappointed in myself that I didn't have it for this video, but that's the one that I would strongly recommend to you guys. Now I have a few others that I wanted to just briefly mention. First being my MAC Fix Plus. This one is an always staple in my kind of makeup and everyday life. This is the coconut version. This one's really hydrating. Puts a big blast of beautiful hydration onto your face. I always have this on my makeup desk and then these three that I'm going to mention right now I've actually picked up in the last two weeks as I was gearing up to film my clean beauty full face Friday so this one in particular I don't have much to say about because I haven't been trying it too much this is the grade on face food mineral mist it feels amazing and so if you're a clean beauty lover this is definitely one to go to I also love the packaging uh, if you did want to carry it around with you it's not going to break which is nice it's this kind of like thin plastic so this would be one that I'd probably put in my bag which is great. And then the two that I've been keeping in my skincare cupboard for day and night use, I've been using the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. I've been using this one during the day and then the one I've been using at night is the May Lindstrom The Jasmine Garden. It smells like old ladies as confirmed by Dan, <laughs> but it feels so good. It has such a fine mist. 
and it just feels amazing. And I've been spraying this on my face right after I wash it before I apply all of my nighttime skincare. And I feel like it's just been making my skin feel so glowy. It's very expensive. The May Lindstrom products are incredibly expensive, but I do just, I'm, I'm a face mist hoarder. I love them and I love to constantly soak my face in them. And as someone who has really dry, dehydrated skin, it's just an instant boost of hydration to help with everything. Next, I wanted to talk about face oils. If you are having very dry, dehydrated skin problems and ongoing issues, a face oil is a really nice instant fix to add into your skincare routine and help your skin feel a lot more juicy and plump. I've used a lot of oils over the years. The May Lindstrom The Youth Dew has been one that I have used over the last two and a half years um, consistently at night. However, it is just so, so expensive. So I've been trying to find alternatives instead of repurchasing that one all over and over again. And this is the one that I have purchased to replace it. This is the Herbivore, Herbivore Phoenix facial oil. I've been using this one mainly at night. Whatever it is that is in this is, is like skincare juicy crack. It is amazing. <laughs> you put this on at night and I swear you just wake up feeling so glorious and glowy. It's been so great. I know it doesn't look like I've used a lot of it, but I have been using this. Like I'm not delicate with these things, you know, like I pull this out and I go ham when I apply this onto my face, which might actually be a bad thing. Using too much essential oils can cause breakouts morning. Uh, this has been great. So if you're looking for a new facial oil to try, this one has been amazing. I love it. You can also just use any kind of oils at your discretion, at your caution. Does that even make sense? I don't know if that's even proper. But this is the one I've been using at night and it has been doing wonders for my face. Speaking of actual facial creams, I wanted to mention two here that I have. These are the two current face creams that I'm using. During the day, I've been using this Ren Emollient Rescue Cream and it's fabulous. It's very, very thick. It's almost so thick that it's kind of hard to spray spread out over your face, but if you have really, really dry, dehydrated skin, the biggest thing I can recommend to you is getting a nice, thick cream to smack all over your face. And this one is lovely from Ren. I'm almost done it, actually. I feel like I have, like, not a lot yet left. It's pretty empty. So that's what I've been using during the day, and I would highly recommend it to you guys. I'm going to list a few others in the description box down below that I have used over the years that have worked very well for me. This is just the one that I currently have. I try not to keep too many on hand because I don't like it when things expire, so I try to use one, use it up, and then I will move on to another one. So this is just my current installment. And any others that I can think of, I will list in the description box down below for you. It's really hard for me to say that. <laughs> Now you guys are going to be disappointed when I say this because for a night cream for a long while now, I have strictly been using the Fresh Creme Ancienne. Now they sent me one nice big tub of this at one point and I really wanted to just be like, Fresh, please send me a lifetime supply because I have purchased this over and over and over again and every time I hand my credit card over, I weep many tears for the cost of this thing. This is not a cheap face cream whatsoever. This bad boy right here. Ugh, I don't even remember what it costs. I know the big one is like 300 and something dollars, which is insane. But I just have to say, as someone who has struggled with really dry skin over the years, this was the one cream that I have used that just solves all of my issues by itself. When you put this on, I, I take a dollop very sparingly, might I add, at night, and I rub it between my fingers. I kind of let it get a little bit warmed up, and then I press it onto my skin, and it just feels amazing. I feel all of my dry skin just being quenched and whisked away into the beauty of this hydrating cream and it's handmade in a monastery. How very fancy fresh. I just love it and I'll continue to repurchase it. It's the one cream that I feel like has just saved my skin. Whenever I switch to something else, I find that my skin just isn't feeling hydrated enough and then I go back to this and I feel saved again. It's so good. If you're wanting to spend some, some big dollar on a cream, I would recommend this one. If not, I will put my other recommendations in the description box down below like my Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask, but just nothing, nothing does it quite like this one. Dear Fresh, please love me again. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let's talk about a lip product. There's a lot of lip products that I use in terms of um, hydration. I have chapsticks and lip balms and all types of things just laying everywhere. For the most part at night, to be honest, I usually just rub my face cream and face oil all over my face, including my lips, before I go to bed, and I feel like that is 
completely fine, but during the day when I feel like I just really need an intense boost of hydration, my lips are just peeling off my face, I always go for the Bite Agave Lip Mask. I have this one, um, and then also their stick form. Both of them are absolutely beautiful. I feel like this one just puts a nice thick layer of, of love onto your lips. It just feels so good. Nothing quite combats the dry lip situation like this. Um, throughout the day, I don't like to apply this. I feel like this is kind of a nuisance to rub it all over my fingers. I don't really like to do this on the go, and that's when I'll use my lip balms, like the Burt's Bees Lip Balm, Naturalize, whatever you're using. Uh, but when I want a deep hydration moment, this is definitely the one I can recommend to you guys. It's very, very lovely. I love Bite. I love their packaging. I love their ingredients, and it feels amazing couple lips, if you will. Now, in the skincare realm, I also did want to include primers because I feel like makeup products are so dependent on the person, but with a primer, if you're looking for hydration, I got some recommendations that I can give you. You guys are gonna know this if you've been around with me for a while, but definitely the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. If you are looking for hydration to put on under your makeup, this is the best thing that I could ever recommend to you. I don't know what hydrating crack that they put into this bottle, but I have gone through so many, I've lost count. I drench my face in this every time I do my makeup. It feels so good, it's so moisturizing, and I feel like it just helps. It's that beautiful waterfall of hydration before you put on your makeup so I just I couldn't recommend this to you more if you didn't want to go for this one my my next recommendation would be the max strobe cream I have this in the gold light this one is not just moisturizing like this one it also has like that highlighting opalescent filtery feeling in there as well so if you wanted some glow as well you could go for this one this one's just moisturizing this one has some glow these are the top two that I could recommend to you in terms of hydrating primers. Those are my favorites and I've used them for ever. And with that, my friends, those are all of my skincare recommendations that I can offer for you if you are struggling with very, very dry skin. I'm also gonna put sensitive skin in that category because I have very dry and sensitive skin. So all of these products are tried and tested and true and filled with hydrating love by yours truly. So I hope that you guys can use any of these products and they will save you from your dry skin woes and if you do try any of them do let me know in the comments down below if you had a good experience with them if you also have dry crazy dry skin let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite products are i'd love to hear from you guys um i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you all in friday's video thank you so much for watching guys bye